Welcome to a Lean Stacks instructional video. This video is part of the Angular Fundamentals series. In this video, we build upon the Angular demo application, adding the Bootstrap and Font Awesome libraries. We overhaul the application markup to create a fresh new user experience. Let's get started. I'm going to go to my file system where I've downloaded the Bootstrap and Font Awesome libraries. You may download Bootstrap from getbootstrap.com and Font Awesome from fontawesome.github.io slash fontawesome. Unpack the archives and copy the contents to the project lib directory. Just as I illustrated with individual JavaScript libraries previously, I like to add the version numbers to the new library folders. Since both, both of these libraries rely on their own relative path structure, I simply rename the top-level directory to contain the version number. Next, I'll open my editor. In the source main app directory, open the index.html file. We need to add the CSS link tags and JavaScript script tags for the new libraries. Now let's update the application to use Bootstrap and Font Awesome Markup. Go to the Source Main App Partials directory and open the header HTML template. Let's replace the current heading template with a Bootstrap navbar. The navbar is comprised of several div tags that organize the content. The first div is the header, which contains the brand label and mobile display controls. The second div contains unordered lists of navigation links. In the header section, the page heading scope variable expression is used as the branding text, and we've included a single navigation link to the main index page. In a later video in this series, we will introduce Angular routing and expand our navbar to include links to many different views. Next, let's update the HTML markup for the footer to utilize the Bootstrap grid system. Open the footer HTML template in the source main app partials directory. I'm going to replace the two paragraph tags with two bootstrap rows, which are wrapped in a container fluid div tag. I'm utilizing a few bootstrap CSS classes to style the footer. The bootstrap grid system divides the page into 12 columns. Since the divs in the footer are allocated all 12 columns, they consume the full width of the page. The text center class centers the paragraph within the parent div tag, and the text muted class sets the font color to gray for the text inside of the block. Finally, let's update the main content section of the page to leverage Bootstrap and Font Awesome. Go back to the index.html page. First, Let's move the contents of the main section to a template. In the source main app partials directory, create a new template file named greeting-list.html. Next, 
Let's add the ng-include directive attribute to the section tag to reference the new greeting list HTML template. Now let's update the greeting list template contents. Like the footer, the entire template is wrapped in a container fluid div. Next we create three rows. The first contains a heading for the view. The second contains the sorting, sorting and filtering inputs and the third contains a table of greetings. Use the page header class to add spacing and a bottom border to visually distinguish the view's heading. I'm going to add a Fawn Awesome icon next to my heading just to add a little eye candy. Fawn Awesome icons are added using the i tag and icon class names are prefixed by FA. Remember that Fawn Awesome icons are a font so Bootstrap's text color classes may be used to change the icon color. In the second row, let's use Bootstrap button groups with Fawn Awesome icons to change the user experience for list sorting. Since we're using icons instead of a select tag to change the value of the greeting sort scope attribute, I'll use the ng click directive to set the value of the attribute. I also need a way to set the active class, CSS class, on the button that represents the current greeting sort attribute value. The bootstrap active class depicts the button as being depressed. The ng class directive facilitates the dynamic application and removal of CSS classes based upon the evaluation of a condition. The ng class value accepts an object with a single key value pair. The key is the name of the class to be applied and the value is an expression which when evaluated to true results in the class being applied to the tag. When the expression evaluates to false, the directive removes the class. We're also going to update the filter input to use a bootstrap input group to prepend a font awesome filter icon to the input tag. The remainder of the input remains the same. In the third row, add the markup for a standard HTML5 table. The bootstrap table class adds the default styling for the table header and table rows. Notice the ng repeat directive is identical to what we used on our previously used simple unordered list. We simply add it to the table row tag ensuring that a new table row and nested table cells are generated for each greeting in the collection. Let's run the application to see these changes. Open a terminal window and change directory to the project based directory. Type gulp space run to start the local web server on port 9000. Open a new browser tab, enter localhost 9000 slash index.html and press enter. As you can see, much has changed with the application user experience. The header is now a bootstrap nav bar. Our footer contents are now centered and the fonts are styled. The largest change is to the greeting list in the main content section of the page. The view heading and list icon are depicted. The sort button group allows users to quickly sort the list and the type of sort is indicated with the font awesome icons. The filter input field is prepended by a filter icon. And finally, the list of greetings has been converted into an HTML table. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the Lean Stacks YouTube channel and follow the Lean Stacks Google Plus page to receive updates as new videos are published. As always, you can find more information on leanstacks.com.